not that I'm adverse to the idea, but don't you think having sex might complicate things between us? On the contrary. I think it might simplify things. It's perfectly reasonable. Natural, really. I'm a woman, you're a man. We're both unattached, both tolerably attractive. Don't tell me you've never considered the possibility. From time to time. Whenever we're together, I feel it. Oh, even when we didn't like each other. I'm sure it isn't just me. It isn't. And you know what I mean. That faint little charge. That slight fission of electricity that kind of makes the hairs on the back of your neck just stand up. Your description is picturesque, to put it mildly. Now the question is, what do you want to do about it? What to do? Always a difficult question. Speaking from experience. Oh, so this has happened to you before. Yeah, more than once. But then you know how important it is for us to be candid about it. I mean, things have been going so well, except for the occasional difficulty. Yeah. I wouldn't want this to cause a problem between us. Oh, no. No, I, in fact, I, I'm, I'm glad that, that it's out in the open. I think we should thank Ned for, for bringing it up. Yes, yeah, you're absolutely right. Next time I, I see Ned, I, I will thank him. So, then, we're agreed. We're attracted to each other. Fortunately, there are ways to deal with this. Yes. I could think of a few. But why don't you run down your list first? Uh, suppression? Uh, but that's so unhealthy and, and that never works. Or, um, we could acknowledge it like we just did and try to rise above it, but, well, that's hardly a solution. So where does that leave us exactly? At door number three. We could act on it. I, I mean, really, that's uh, the only way to get past it, or else it'll just, you know, hang there like this not-so-invisible curtain just affecting everything we do or say. No. Can't have that now, can we? Uh, I, I guess not, given how tempting the alternative is. Well, I guess we should open door number three. Um, yeah. If, if you insist. too much. Enough that, that maybe we should just uh, forget that it happened. It's a little late for that. Yeah, maybe, uh, maybe forget was too strong a word. Perhaps uh, disregard or even ignore. You know, denial is just as bad as suppression. Like you said, we're both adults, we're both unattached. Yeah. Maybe it's better if we both stay that way. I thought this was supposed to simplify things. 
Oh, it has. Everything is much clearer now. What are you afraid of? I'm afraid of how I feel when I'm in your arms, Jax. Look, there, there's too much that I want to accomplish, okay? I, I've worked too hard, and I've sacrificed too much to simply let, let sex get in the way, okay? How do you know it would? After that kiss, you don't think that it would? No, I, I think that it would be better if, if you and I just go back to being plain and, and simple business partners. It would just be, it would be safer for everyone involved. Since when do you play it safe? Hmm? Oh, that, that's just a dare. Are you taking me up on it? Look, I won't push you, Sky. Even though I'm tempted. Well, you wouldn't have to push very far, trust me, but... But don't. Unless, of course, maybe it would get you to tell me what you have on Edward. Oh, I see. So this is about power? About leverage? Oh, and this isn't about power and leverage for you? How much power and leverage we'd have together, Jax. You're really something, you know that? Always a plan, always an angle. Which is exactly why we make such a good team. What? Nothing. Oh, that look was hardly nothing. Now, that look was gratitude. Maybe even a little affection. Oh? You know, at the risk of complicating things all over again, I am glad that you came into my life. Why? Because I was bored. Complacent. And you're far from boring. It's supposed to be a compliment, right? You're a conundrum. You're complicated, but what you want and what you need are really quite simple. You're smart enough to know when to play dumb, and you're savvy enough to confuse even me. And on top of that, you're beautiful. Oh, careful, Mr. Jax. Just might want to make me kiss you again and we'd be right back in quicksand. I've been in worse places. But let me reassure you, I am taking Ned and Edward's warnings under advisement and I will proceed with due caution. But I'll be proceeding with you. Oh, I guess I won't be needing to get anything else on Edward. But you're gonna try anyway, right? Maybe. You won't find it. Wanna bet? You're on. Oh. Let me give you a fair warning. I'm ready for you. <laughs> 